Welcome to your intermediate yoga flow. Today we're going to be working with internal rotation as we strengthen our entire back body and manifest stability within our lives. So if you're ready to get going, just grab your mat and we'll begin. Wonderful. Let's begin seated on our mats. Come into a child's pose, Balasana. Allow your chest to rest on your thighs and walk your hands out in front of you. Feel the hips pressing onto the heels as you relax your lower back and rest your forehead on the earth. Close your eyes and take a moment to set a personal goal or intention for your practice today. Ask yourself, what will bring wholeness and balance to your life? Wait for an image or idea to arise and be still with that vision or thought for a while. Now breathe deeply. Allow the universe to protect and nurture you. Drink in as much air as you can. Inhale into your lungs, into your belly. And exhale, begin to roll through into an all fours position, eventually lowering yourself all the way down to the mat onto your belly. Press the forehead or a cheek onto the mat and just draw your hands back down by your sides. Inhale and exhale. Let's tuck the hands underneath the hip bones and reach the right leg up to the sky. Point the toes. See if you can reach that leg out and away from your body as you engage the glute and hamstring, keeping the chest completely on the ground here for our half locust pose. Hold it, inhale, and exhale, release the right leg to the mat. And let's do the other side. Inhale, bring the left leg up to the sky. Be sure to keep those hips tucked up into the belly for our Ardha Shalabhasana. Inhale, hold it here, engage the fire within those glutes and hamstrings, point the toes as hard as you can, and exhale, lower it down to the mat, beautiful work. Release your hands from underneath your hips and reach them out in front of you. Inhale and engage your entire back body as we lift the heart forward, reach the fingertips towards the front of the room and your toes behind you. Lifting as you squeeze the glutes together, heels press into one another. Hold it for our full locust pose. Beautiful work. And exhale as you lower completely into the mat. Beautiful work. Let's draw those hands back by our sacrum. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Firm your elbows and roll the shoulders down your back. Inhales, you reach your heart forward, squeeze the legs together, point the toes away from your body. Hold it here. Feel those muscles engaging and keep breathing deeply. Wonderful work and lower completely into the mat. Beautiful job. Draw your heels towards your glutes and grab onto the tops of your feet with your hands. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Press into your hands with your ankles and lift the chest for our full Dhanurasana bow pose. Inhale, expand the chest, let go of the tension in those shoulders. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, and release it down to the mat. Beautiful, well done. We're just going to simply relax into the mat once again and draw one leg towards your glute. Grab onto the ankle and allow the opposite leg to just be long along the mat. Tuck the hips up into the belly and see if you can find that nice quad stretch bringing the knees close together as we extend the front of the leg. Come back to your intention. Come back to that breath and then release the leg down to the mat 
and grab the opposite side. Pull the ankle towards your glute. Inhale. Allow your belly to fill with oxygen. Exhale, sigh it out. Let it go. Wonderful. Inhale and release your leg down to the mat. Draw your hands by your lower ribs and press deeply into the palms with the fingers facing forward. Shoulders hugging in towards your body. Reach your heart up to the sky for a baby cobra pose as you cinch the legs together. Bhujangasana. Inhale and exhale, release it down to the mat. Once again, inhale, press into the palms, reach your heart forward, squeeze the glutes together. Rise to meet life's challenges with a calm and confident demeanor. Inhale and exhale, press deeper into the hands as you send your hips back into a tabletop. Tuck the toes under and send the hips high for a downward facing dog with bent knees. Inhale, gaze front between your hands. Exhale, raise the heels, bend the knees, and take a couple steps into a forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, as you lengthen halfway for Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bend the knees and roll it up to standing. Reach the arms overhead, and exhale, draw your hands through your heart center, Samastitahi, and open for Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Open hands, bring an open heart. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, gaze up to the sky. Exhale, bend the elbows and cactus your arms as you arch back slightly. Reach your hips forward, open yourself up to the sky. Wonderful, inhale, take it back up and then dive it down into that forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen for Ardha. Exhale, ground down through the palms and step it back into a high plank pose. Hold it here for a moment. Be sure your weight is forward over your wrists. Neck is in one line with the spine and hips are tucked up into the belly. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, lower, keeping those elbows in and then release it down completely into the mat. One line. Inhale for Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Squeeze the legs together, press the tops of the feet into the mat, and exhale, send your hips back into tabletop, and eventually create that downward dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Beautiful. Keep breathing here, and feel free to walk out this downward dog, sending one heel deeply into the mat as you bend the opposite knee. Allow the sternum to reach towards the shins. Triceps rotating down to face the mat and press into all points of the palms. Inhale, bring the right leg up into a three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your knee into your chest and step between your hands. Lower the left knee down to the mat. Lift your chest up for Anjaneyasana, crescent lunge. Relieving our lower back and sciatica pain as we strengthen our thighs and legs. This posture allows us to relieve anxiety and tension. Inhale, breathe in all of those wonderful benefits. And exhale, let's ground down through the hands and send the weight back over that left knee. Elongate the front leg and flex the right toes up towards that shin. For this wonderful Ardha Hanumanasana, or half splits pose. As we lengthen the thigh gently, increasing flexibility within the back of our leg and our lower back, square off those hips and lengthen the lower spine. Reach the crown of the head out and away from your body. Create space underneath your ears and relax further over that leg with each breath. Wonderful. Inhale and exhale. Send your weight forward. Ground down through your hands. Frame that front foot and then step it back into a high plank pose. Inhale. Move your weight forward. Exhale. Lower halfway. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale for upward dog. Squeeze the legs together. Hips lift up. Exhale. Downward dog. 
Beautiful, ground down through the palms of the hands as you lengthen the hamstrings deeper. Reach the sits bones up to the sky. Create space in your lower back. Let go of all that negativity. You are fully capable. You are completely in control. Inhale, lift the left leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your knee into your chest and step between your hands. Lower the back knee down to the mat as you lift up into that Anjaneyasana, crescent lunge. Great work here. As we increase our energy, we also focus in on mental clarity for this posture. Breathe deeply. Your actions are purposeful and your thoughts are clear. Wonderful job. Sink deep as you square off those hips. Inhale and exhale. Ground down through your hands and send the weight back over that right knee. Straighten the left leg and flex the toes up towards your face. Finding that wonderful calf stretch and wonderful hamstring stretch. Allow that left hip to pull even further back as you attempt to push the right hip forward gently, offering to square off that body. Awesome job, inhale, lengthen the hamstring, exhale, sink it further over that leg. On your next exhalation, ground down through the hands, frame the front foot, and step it back into a high plank. Inhale and exhale, take your vinyasa, lower halfway, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale for upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale and exhale, exhale, exhale. Don't hold or force your breath here. Inhale, reach the right leg up to the sky once again, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your right knee into your chest and step between your hands. Spiral the back heel down to the mat on a sharp diagonal and lift the chest up into that warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Being sure that our hips remain completely square here. So just like that feeling in our Anjaneyasana, we want to pull the right hip back as we push the left hip forward. Feeling free to heel toe that right foot slightly out to the side in order to create that fully square position with our hips. Inhale as we open the chest, feel the empowerment in this confident warrior posture. Exhaling and letting go of all that no longer serves you. Inhale, take your arms out into a T-shape and exhale, cross the right elbow on top of the left and interlace the wrist pressing the palms together for our Garudasana arms, or eagle arms. Firm the shoulder blades down the back as you lift the elbows. This contradicting motion will allow you to relieve all of that pressure and tension from your neck and shoulders. So really feel the resistance between the palms as you lift the elbows high, ground down through the shoulder blades and lift your heart forward. Beautiful job, inhale and exhale. Gently release your arms, reach them up to the sky. Bring your hands to your heart center as you press off the back foot. Come into our warrior three, Vira Padrasana three. Body is in one line, perpendicular to the earth, creating a T shape with that lower leg. Hold it here as you find that stability in the standing leg, that right leg. Engage the glutes, the hamstrings, the calves. Hold the core steady as you focus on one point in the ground, your drishti. Inhale, one more breath. Exhale, place the fingertips into the mat and lift your leg a little bit higher for our standing splits, yet keep the hips nice and square here, so don't extend it all the way up to the sky. We're going to take a couple Shiva squats, so go ahead and bend both knees on your next exhalation. 
crossing the left leg behind the right. And then inhale, straighten it up, lengthen the legs. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, engage. Exhale, feel that glute working. And inhale, reach it up to the sky and eventually send it back into that warrior one. Lift the arms up to the sky and then ground down through the hands. Frame that front foot and step it back into high plank. Inhale, reach your heart forward and exhale, take that Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale for upward dog and exhale for downward dog. Well done. Inhale, let's lift the left leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Bring your knee to your nose and step between your hands. Spiral the back heel down to the mat on a sharp diagonal and square off your hips before lifting up into that warrior one, sinking deep into the left knee. Inhale, gaze up and out away from your body. Exhale, drop the shoulders down the back and sink one inch further into that front knee. Be sure it's directly over that left ankle. As you engage the core here, push that left hip back slightly as you pull the right hip forward. Reach the arms higher and then eventually come out into a T-shape. Interlace the opposite elbow underneath and press the palms together for our Garudasana arms, eagle arms. Allow the shoulders to relax down the back as you soften that tension away. Come back to your intention. Come back to your breath. You are exactly where you're meant to be. Simply hold these eagle arms as you lift the elbows higher. Create that space between the ears and shoulders. Inhale, drink in as much air as you can. And on your exhalation, release your eagle arms, reach your hands up to the sky, and then press off that back foot confidently. Come into our warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. Allow the leg to be in one line with the spine. Palms press into one another at your heart center. Be sure that your standing leg or your left leg has a slight micro bend so that you don't overextend the hamstring here. We want to think of engaging the back of the leg. So really lift up in that lower glute muscle as you hold your core and find that stability. You are strong. You are powerful. You can accomplish anything you put your mind to. Inhale. Engage the back leg. Reach it a little bit longer. And exhale. Gently bring your fingertips down to the mat and lift the right leg a little bit up to the sky. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale as you bend into your Shiva squat, cross the right knee behind the left. Inhale, reach it back up. Exhale for Shiva squat. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, sink low with the glutes. Inhale, reach it up. Last time, exhale, bend into those knees. Inhale, come back into your standing splits and eventually send the weight all the way back into that warrior one. Reach your arms up to the sky and then ground down through the palms. Frame the front foot. Step it back into a high plank. Inhale, as you reach your heart forward, exhale, take your flow or skip it and we'll meet in a downward facing dog. Wonderful job. Inhale, gaze front between your hands. Exhale, raise the heels, bend the knees, and take a couple steps into a forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen halfway for Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bend the knees and roll it all the way up to standing. Reach the arms overhead and draw the hands through your heart center. Open for Tadasana, mountain pose. Take a deep cleansing breath in through your nose. Hold it for a moment at the top. Exhale, open your mouth, sigh it out. Inhale, and gently grab onto the left foot with your left hand. Pull it towards your glute muscle. 
Keep the knees right together as we stretch out our quad, tuck those hips up into the belly. Inhale and let's reach the right arm out in front of you. Exhale, drop the shoulders down the back as you begin to engage the entire back body, reaching the left foot up away from your glute. Pull into that hand as you create dancer pose. Sita, Ardha, Dhanurasana. Breathe deeply and gaze out in front of that right hand. Create space between your shoulders and ears. Lift your heart forward and really press into that left hand with your left foot. You are strong. You are confident. You are radiant. Breathe in all of that positive energy and exhale. Let it go. Let go of the negative. Let go of anxiety. One more breath here. And then exhale, gently release your left leg. Bring it down to the mat and reach your arms up. Circle out the shoulders and then draw them through your heart center. Let's grab onto the right foot with the right hand and pull it towards your glute, stretching out the quad. Bring the knees together. Engage that lower abdominal, being sure that we're in a neutral spine or neutral pelvis. Inhale and gently lift up into your dancer pose, reaching the back leg out behind you. Don't let the knee stray out to the side. Really stay in one line here. As you gaze out over the left fingertips, find that peace and serenity within the pose. Try your best not to focus on any difficulties or negative connotations you may be drawing towards this posture. Really absorb all of the positive benefits like toning your entire abdomen, toning your back body, and lengthening the muscles so that you really get the fullest experience. Inhale as you welcome all of that opportunity and exhale as you reach that right foot even higher. One more breath, deep inhale, fill up your lungs lengthen all of the muscles and exhale gently release your dancer pose reach the hands up to the sky and exhale as you draw them down to your heart center eventually making your way into a seated position on your mat reach your hands out in front of you and roll down until you're lying on your back hug the knees towards your chest and gently rock from side to side massaging out your back and giving some love to your body. Let's cross that right ankle over the left knee and pull the left leg towards your body for our figure four pose. This wonderful posture will help us to open the hips and lubricate our hip joints. As we massage and cleanse our inner organs, we're also freeing the shoulders from any stiffness or tension. Allow yourself to soak up all of these wonderful benefits. Feel free to close your eyes here and relax your belly, taking nice, full, and complete breaths. Wonderful work. Let's hug that leg a little closer before releasing it down to the mat. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh this time and pull the leg towards your body. Thread the needle, our figure four. Breathe easily, knowing that you are well supported by your strong and supple body. You are exactly where you're meant to be in this universe, in all space and time. Allow this to comfort you, to help you find that peace and sense of clarity. Inhaling and exhaling, letting go of the negative energy. Beautiful. One more nice cleansing breath here. Inhale, drink in that oxygen. 
and exhale, side out. Release your legs. And let's cross the right leg over the left. You can also hook the right ankle around the left ankle for our full Supta Garudasana and allow the legs to fall over to the left side, gaze to the right, and spread your arms wide. In this wonderful twisted posture, we're allowing our joints to be really compressed, healing our body by sending more and more nutrients to those areas of compression. Try to soften every part of your body that's not being used to keep you in this posture. Allow your shoulder blades to rest into the mat. Allow your hips to be heavy. Inhale, and on your exhalation, use your core, bring your legs back to center. Go ahead and cross the left leg over the right this time and hook that left ankle around the right as the legs fall over to your right side. Gaze out to the left, Supta Garudasana, or reclined eagle pose. Inhale and exhale, gently bring yourself back to center. Hug your knees into your chest one last time and eventually elongate each leg along the mat. Open the hands and arms out to either side of your body for our final posture of the practice today, our Shavasana as we gently restore energy throughout the body, I challenge you to only focus on your breath. Come to that meditative state of inhaling, feeling the rising of the chest, and exhale, empty out the lungs as you soften every muscle. Breathe deeply. Rejuvenate the mind and body. Finding that sense of peace, clarity, and contentment. It is said that just 15 minutes of Shavasana is equal to two hours of restful sleep. So if you have the time and space today, feel free to stay here for as long as you need. Maybe try staying for at least 10 or 15 minutes. If not, and you wish to get going with your day, ending the practice with me, go ahead and take a deep breath into the lungs. Float the arms overhead and stretch out your entire body. Eventually, roll over onto one side. Come into a fetal position as we find that movement and energy throughout the body once again. Open the eyes. Become aware of your surroundings once more. And press into the hands. Come back into an easy seat or Sukhasana. Bring the hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra and thank your body for all that it does for you. Thank yourself for doing something good for your body and coming to yoga today. I send you in love and light. Bring your thumbs to your third eye and bow down to your own heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching Mermaid Yoga. Don't forget to share and like this video and comment any suggestions or requests you might have below. Click that subscribe button to watch our channel grow. We'll see you again on the mat soon.